So uncle, family friend, he asked me, hey, baby, what you like be when you grow up? And, oh, I want to be an astronomer. An astronomer? What kind of Hawaiian you? And I began to question what it is that I really wanted to become. While I walk into class, his name is Mr. Wagner. He has shared with us how Hawaiian ancestors, how, how they use the stars to navigate across vast oceans. When he said that they use the stars, it clicked. My kupuna, they use the stars. My kupuna were astronomers. Why can't I be one too? You only know where you're at in any given point of time by knowing where you came from. You have to keep track of everything. Of course, there was no stars for most of the time. They're all covered up by rain clouds. So I learned how to navigate by waves and by wind. I can't see the sun, I can't trust the winds, and I didn't get a bearing off the waves. At that point, my heart went into a panic. This is the moment where you take everything you know, everything you've learned, and you throw it off the canoe. This is the moment where you navigate by your na'au. And everything in my mind told me, turn around, go back. And na'au told me, home is right here in the front of you. Our kupuna, we're scientists. Our people are scientists. We're curious. Everything that we learn, everything we attain along this journey, that knowledge that we gain, we have a responsibility to share. Science for science sake is selfish. Culture for culture's sake is conceited. I believe wholeheartedly that the two can coexist with one another. I believe that because I am that. If you think that it's hard to deal with the controversy that's going on, imagine being a fifth grader wanting to be an astronomer right now. The things that create the stars and the heavens are the same elements that created us. That's where the true power lies. And you can see everything as a whole. And you can see your part within it.